Huh? You have a thing for mine? No. I say I I can't right now do this. Hello, and welcome to James the Lesser Express Line, where we get you in and out as fast as possible with View Tech USA is crying. Guys, this is it. This is goodbye. Uh-huh. He'll be back. If he makes it to June before coming back, I'll be highly surprised, but I'm going to say sometime in June he'll be back. Let's watch. Hey, uh, shameless plug that I was a complete idiot and forgot to bring up in this video before you watch. Uh, make sure you sub to my live stream channel if you still want to support me. And even though I have not uploaded there recently, I have been working on stuff and learning the MPC one, which is right here next to me. Uh, I also produce music. Links below in the description. Thank you for the continued support. He produces trash. And the last two times he's tried to live stream, he's fucked everything up so badly. He had to restart the stream multiple times. Yeah, he's not prepared for live streaming. Hope to see you in the next live stream, which will be happening soon. Hey, everybody. Richard Review Tech USA here. Yes, I'm on a new set. I'm kind of look like I'm in a spaceship with a giant bird behind me, but okay. It still looks amazing. I love it. Um, it's mostly where I'm going to be doing whatever the hell I'm going to be doing here. Uh, this is not to, uh, refresh my channel because review tech USA, in case you couldn't tell, at least the way it was is over with. So I assure you this new set is not being done, uh, to reinvigorate review tech USA, because that is a chapter that is essentially closed. Um, so let's rewind a little bit and then we'll talk. Rewind a little bit. The Dropbox scandal completely screwed him. And revealing he has all those pictures of ladies that are under the age of 18. Yeah, not a good look. Is trying to do, like, latching on to DSP. Did not work. And going after the detractors. Did not work. Pretty much, the year 2024 has not been good to him. Let's continue. Talk about Review Tech USA again. Where have I been for the past about a month and a half? I've had some real life stuff that is going on that is continuing to go on. It has nothing to do Again, the Dropbox with YouTube that I finally needed to mentally address. Uh, there are still things that are ongoing and I kind of had no choice but to take a break from YouTube. Um, I'm lucky that I have the luxury of taking that break. And you know, if I had a normal nine to five, no, I could not do that. But the, and a lot of people- What normal nine to five would hire you? Brought up that point to me, but the rebuttal I would say, which their point was accurate, but this is accurate too, is that when people come to see you and you're not in the right headspace, it is the perfect recipe for disaster streams. So yeah, I had to take a step away and and just do work on this, get this set going. Um, other things with like equipment I was working on, I had an adventure trying to get the Roadcaster Pro 2 working. I had a duo at first, but the, the technical stuff is not your concern. But there was something else. You made it their concern when you tried to live stream and you fucked it up so badly you had to restart multiple times. Um, that I realized too, and I, I thought about it long and hard during this hiatus, is did I miss doing the, I don't want to say daily uploads. Long and hard. Did your ex-wife ever say that? I highly doubt that. It's because we never really uploaded daily. But did I miss the regular uploads? Like, multiple times a week, let's say. Uh... No, absolutely not. <laughs> I, it kind of made me depressed because I'm like, man, I am, I'm over what at least Review Tech USA was. And it's weird because I'm noticing a lot of people like Norm, the gaming historian, uh, people talk about AVGN all the time, that they're kind of my age and whether they like Norm, the gaming historian is retiring. He said it. Um, people think the nerd should retire. And there's other people too that I'm not going to name. This is not what the video is about that. You could tell that they're faking the funk because it's like, hey, it's it's what it is, you know, and you see them not enjoying it anymore. And you see faking it because they don't enjoy it. I mean, like DSP, womp womp. The numbers dwindling. And it's like numbers dwindling, also DSP. I know you're over this. I know you're over it. I, I know it's easy. I know it I know it it's paying the bills, maybe not the way it used to, but it's still paying the bills. But why don't you try to do something different? Why don't you try to reinvigorate yourself? Why don't you try to to change things up instead of just milking the same cow until there's nothing but uh, powder coming out of the udders? I think that's actually a, a shtick from Ren and Stimpy, but anyway. And that's where I saw myself. You know, there were many times, this is something I debated for years. It, it, it wasn't where I was just doing it impulsively, where I kind of knew I was over what Review Tech USA was but you get scared and you go back into it and people tell you that you're 
because you stopped reviewing tech because people stopped sending you tech. Back in the day, companies would send him products to test. And then he turned into this, and they stopped doing that. Crazy, and I'm not... There's many people that said that when I talked to them about me wanting to switch things up. And, you know, and they're, 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 they have your best interests at heart, but if you're just not feeling something anymore, you got to do what you got to do. And you got to do what's right for you. And it won't be easy. And you're going to piss people off along the way and, and you may lose followers and you may lose subscribers and, but you got to do what you got to do. And what crying beg for more. And yeah, what I was doing was safe, but the numbers were showing before anything that it wasn't working. It was, yeah, okay. I would get enough to make a living, but there was no growth there. It was insular and it was fragile. And I, my, my channel was basically, I guess the right saying was, was built on a deck of cards now, many of you have said, Rich, I, I miss the gaming news and, and people are going to miss you for doing that. And I'm sure there's times where like, look, the Switch 2 is going to be announced from Nintendo, I believe, in June. I'll talk about those. I'm sure people will joke and say, oh, look, Rich, tomorrow he's doing gaming news. When there's things I'm truly interested See, in. See, told you, June. And I, I'll definitely make videos and bring them up. But when people say that they miss my stuff, I look at how I look at, looked at Classic Game Room. And look, I love Mark, by the way. This is nothing negative about Mark. But he, they, I heard that he was coming back to YouTube and there were some people that were very excited, like, yes, you know, Mark is coming back. That's something refreshing instead of all the other stuff that's on YouTube. And it didn't work out for him. It didn't. You know, he tried to do videos. The viewership wasn't there. He tried to have like 24 hour live streams and the viewership wasn't there. And it's just times have changed. Views, views, views. I don't want to be Mr. Views. You know, at least with Review Tech USA, what it was, it was a relic from a different era. There is exceptions of gaming channel or gaming news channels that still do well, but a lot of them, it just got flooded. There was a lot of people there doing the same thing, talking about the same news. And yes, on top of it too, let's keep it real. I've made mistakes throughout the years. So combined with a very, very flooded genre and the fact that I have made derps, it just kind of was time. Not kind of, it definitely was time. I was a lucky dude. I am a lucky dude. I could still live stream and make a living wherever the numbers are. I, get, I, I did this for over a decade, over a decade. I got to sit in front of a camera and be an idiot for a living. And that's awesome. Maybe you shouldn't have been such an idiot. Back in the day when you literally had companies send you new tech, when that stopped happening as often, maybe you should have gone, hmm. Before, all these companies would send me tech. Now they're not. Maybe I should do something to change that. Nope, just keep on being you. And I can't complain. And I still get, like I said, I still get to do things like live stream. So I have nothing to complain about. And wherever the next chapter of my life takes me, then it takes me. Now, shameless plug, I'll still be live streaming. That's what's going to pay the bills. And you'll see stuff here and there sprinkled on this channel. Hell, there may even be, I'm looking for a clips editor for my live streams, by the way, um, because clips may go on this channel, which in a weird way, even though Review Tech USA is pretty much no more, the things I talk about on my live streams are kind of the things that Rich uh, of Review Tech USA, I hate referring to myself in third person, but it's true. It's kind of like what I would be talking about in 2013 on my channel. So in a weird way, things are coming full circle. Are we doing Review Tech USA throwback? Gee, I wonder where he got that idea from. But is this channel my main focus anymore? No. Um, I'm going to live stream. I'll have the occasional big project up. And I have other things that I'm going to take risks. Big project, Project 7. <laughs> and focus on. Because one thing I learned, mistakes and all, is that I always work best and perform best when there's instability. I know a lot of the instability that has happened has been my own doing. But nonetheless, here we are. And I knew for years it was time for a change. And hopefully things work out. Am I scared? Yeah, a little bit, but what the hell am I going to do? The only thing I'm good at is entertaining people, so I need to find a new way to do it, huh? Yeah, I don't know if you're good at that, but you tell yourself that. This is Rich of Review Tech USA signing out. Have a good one. Wow. But yeah, he'll be back by June on this channel, I'm sure. And it'll be last chance, so, oh, I guess it's a goodbye, but you're live streaming still.
if you can get the fucking work without crashing all the time like you did last time. So you're not actually going anywhere. This would be like, oh, I'm your local news anchor on this channel, and I'm, I'm retiring, and then the next night you show up on a different local news broadcast. Oh, you went from channel 11 to channel 13. You, you didn't go anywhere. You didn't retire. You, you just went to a different channel. That's all he's doing. He's going from View Tech USA to View Tech USA live streaming. While still uploading on this channel eventually. And mind you, this video is at 1.5 speed. When you play it at regular speed, he talks so slow. Even at 1.5 speed, it sounded normal. Like, how did you sound normal at 1.5 speed there? All right, all the weed is on. Womp womp. <sighs> so yeah, guys, do you think he makes it to June? Or do you think he uploads on this channel before June? Let me know down below. And as always, like, subscribe, comment down below, and have one hell of a day.